This video is supported by AC Infinity and Auto Pot Watering Systems. What up guys, Bass Drop Keys, your friendly neighborhood Negro, and in today's video we're starting the Infinity Grow Season 2. Today we're going to briefly go over the equipment that I'll be using for this grow, and I'll show you how to set up the Auto Pot Watering System. I will also go over the additional accessories you can get to take your Auto Pot Grow to the next level. Make sure you stay till the end of the video because I'll be telling you about the missing parts that you will need to complete your auto pot setup. Just recently here on the channel, I've done videos on each of the Ace Infinity products that I'm using for this grow. We will cover them briefly here, but if you wanna see the full videos, I will link them in the description below. For this grow, I'm using the Ace Infinity 3x3 tent the Cloudline T4 inline fan with charcoal filter, the Cloudray S6 clip fans, the Ion Grid T22 LED grow lights, they are 130 watts each, and to automate my entire grow, I am using the Controller 69 to control all the components of my setup. I can control the light cycles, set timers, change brightness, set schedules, and see all the data from my grow, including the VPD with the Controller 69 app on my phone. I wanna thank Ace Infinity for sponsoring me and this growing series. If you wanna get any of the Ace Infinity products, use the code BASEDROPKEYS to get a 15% discount on any order, excluding their new grow kits at aceinfinity.com. Now we're going to move on to the auto pot watering system. In all of my past grows, I have been watering the plants by hand, which is very tedious, and I feel like I wasn't giving my plants enough water at certain parts of each grow. For this reason, I started looking at a system that could water the plants automatically. The auto pot watering system is a gravity fed system that doesn't require any power or timers. You do not have to water daily. The plants have access to the water whenever they want it. With the auto pot system, you can leave your garden for weeks if need be without worrying if your plants will have water. Now that we have our auto pot system unboxed, we're gonna start putting it together. I wanna thank Jason and everyone at auto pot for sponsoring this growing series and the channel. You can use the coupon code base drop keys to get a 10% discount on any order at autopotusa.com. The system that I'm showing here on the video is the four pot system. Another great feature that I love about the auto pots is that you can have as many pots as you want. They have a one pot system all the way up to 80 pot systems available. And if you need even more than that, you can always connect more with your current setup very easily. You can connect the auto pot system in different ways depending on the area that you'll be growing in. Because I'm in a grow tent, I'm going to use the square method to connect the system rather than in a straight line. This is the parts bag that came with the system. At the beginning of the video, I said that you should watch till the end because I was going to tell you the additional pieces that you need to buy to complete the system. If you look in the bag, you'll see a valve with a red knob on it. This valve is used as a cut on and cut off valve for the water coming out of the reservoir, but also at the end of the line so that you can drain your system periodically to ensure that you don't get any blockages. The problem is the system only comes with one, so you need to buy an additional one. On the site, there are $6, so it's a small inconvenience. You can see that I actually bought two extra just in case one breaks. In that same vein, the top hat grommets are used to help seal the reservoir and the bottom pans to make sure water can't leak out. If you look back in the parts bag, they include four of them. 
but you need five. There are four pans for your flower pots and one reservoir, so you'll need to buy one additional top hat grommet. Now the top hat grommets are only $2.50, so once again, it's just a small inconvenience. Those are the two extra parts that you'll need to buy additional with the system. One valve and one additional top hat grommet. To finish setting up the system, lay out everything so you know exactly where you want to cut the pipe with the scissors. Everything fits really nice and it's pretty easy to set up. Let me warn you to make sure you put the grommets in the bottom pans where the line goes in to the aqua valve, otherwise water can come out of that hole. Believe me, I found out the hard way. So make sure you put the grommets in the bottom of the pans where the hole connects right here that I'm showing you. Make sure you put those grommets in. We almost have our system set up now. The next thing we need to do is set up our flower pots. The first thing I'm going to do is rinse my air stones and hydrogen clay pebbles just to rinse off any excess dirt or debris that may be on them. Next, let's talk about the medium. It is best to use a medium that has great drainage, so I'm going to use cocoa and perlite. AutoPot recommends that whatever medium you use, you should use a 50-50 mix of your medium and perlite to ensure that you have good drainage. The first thing you will put in the pot is the root control copper disc. You will notice that it has a copper side and a black side. Inside the pot, you always want to put the copper down. Now if you watch other videos on YouTube, you're going to see that some people say differently. But I got this information directly from the person that created this whole system. He said inside the pot, the copper goes down. If you have one of the systems that come with a copper disc for your bottom pan, the copper goes up in the pan and down in the pot. The reason why the copper discs are necessary is because when the roots hit the copper, they won't grow past that part. Now we're going to talk about something that is optional. You do not need the next thing that I'm going to show you, but it will supercharge your growth if you decide to get it. These are air domes and they increase the oxygen in your flower pots. More oxygen means healthier root zones, greater uptake of water and nutrients, which in turn gives you a bigger yield and better quality buds. The domes come with little blue tubes with holes in them to let the oxygen out. I decided to use air stones because you get a lot more bubbles and they are less likely to clog up. If you decide to add air domes to your system, you will have to buy an air pump. This pump has four lines on it, which is perfect because I have four pots. The air domes you can get off the auto pot site, but I'll put the link in the description for the air pump and the air stones. Once again, the air domes are not necessary. They are optional. If you decide not to get them, just follow this video and exclude the domes. With or without the domes, AutoPot recommends that you put two inches of hydrogen pebbles at the bottom of your pot. You can see that I'm also using cheesecloth to help make a barrier so that roots can get directly into the air dome and clog it up. Once you have your clay pebbles in the bottom of your pot, you're going to fill up the rest of the pot with your medium, your 50-50 mix of medium and perlite. You're going to fill up your pot. Once you have all your pots filled, you will put them in the bottom pans, then connect the lines to the air pump. Now our system is completely set up. Obviously, I'm not going to put water in it and cut it on because there's no plants in here yet. But even when there are plants in there, AutoPot recommends that you wait 10 to 14 days to cut on your system when you add plants. That way you give their roots a chance to get rooted in and established well. This is my attempt to automate my entire growth for the most part because as you guys know, I do everything myself and this will help take some of the load off. In the next video in this series next week, we will go over what I'm growing with this setup, seed germination, and the transplant into the auto pot watering system. I am super excited about this grow and believe this can be my best grow yet. If you want to support me off of YouTube because you guys know being a 420 creator, they can shut me down at any time and delete my channel at any time that they want. Come join the Patreon. You'll get to see the videos early, have access to ask me questions anytime, 
and participate in the Patreon giveaways that I normally do once a month. Let me know what you think about this video. I've been a content creator for six years now, and this is my first time ever writing a script for a video. So everything I said in this video was wrote down before I said it. Let me know if it made a difference. Could you tell? Leave a like and comment and let me know if you're excited about this grow and have you ever used the auto pot watering systems. Thank you guys so much for the love and until I see you guys the next time. Peace and good eats. I'm out guys. Much love.